Pourquoi means why. Why. And some, we call these pourquoi stories. How something happened or why something happened. How the tiger got his stripes. How the monkey got his tail. Those are called pourquoi stories. <clears throat> Most of those are from folklore, folk stories. So, and now we've got folk tales, fairy tales, and personal stories. What other kinds of stories have you talked about or... Yes? Uh, the ghost that haunts Hamilton. What's that? I talked about the ghost that haunts Hamilton. The ghost that hugs Hamilton? Haunts. Haunts. Hamilton's the high school that's right down ah. the road. Um, stories about your family. Stories about your family. Story, like, different scary stories. Different scary stories? Um, she, she told stories about her family, and then uh, they made everybody's uh, name in Arabic, so they could see what, what their names are in Arabic. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Right? She told the personal story. Excellent. Excellent. How many of you are in drama club? Okay. Well, let me tell you this. I'll try and make this real quick here. Now, many, many years ago, there was a... a, a a playwright named William Saroy. This is a true story. William Saroy. Anybody know who William Saroy was? He was a playwright, an American playwright. And you were talking about Arabic. He was Armenian. He grew, he, his family was Armenian. And he wrote plays. In fact, he won several awards. He won what's called the Pulitzer Prize in drama. Now, William Saroyan was a very famous playwright way back in, 19, in the 60s. And he went to Purdue University, a big college in Indiana, and he went to be a playwright in residence and write and direct a play. Now, there was a woman in that town who was in the theater department, and she became his assistant. And she came home one day, and she told her 13-year-old son that William Saroyan was auditioning musicians for the play. They were going to musicians on stage. Now, he played the marching drum and band. So he decided to go down and audition for this very famous playwright, William Saroyan. But the only way he could play his drum was to strap it onto his leg like, like he did in band and marching drum. So he went down, and there in the theater, he went up and down the aisle. <laughs> playing a marching drum. Just the way they did in colonial times. I know you're studying colonial times, huh? Well, everybody sort of snickered and laughed, and that young boy didn't know people were laughing at him. And Mr. Saroyan thanked him very much. <coughs> and then he went home. And one day later, his mother came home and said, Mr. Saroyan is not going to use you as a musician in the play. But guess what? He's written a part in the play for you. This was a brand new play, and he went and he wrote a part in the play for that young man who played the drum. Now the part in the play was called The Butterfly Boy, and the action took place along the Wabash River in, in Lafayette, Indiana. Right on the river there in a little clearing with trees, and the boy would come through searching for his a butterfly. Anybody do their butterfly collections yet or bug collections? You probably have to do that in seventh grade, I think. This young man, he played the character of the butterfly boy. And he went through the scene and he would he had a butterfly net and he couldn't find the, the butterfly. And then a little while later, he would come through the scene again looking for a butterfly. <coughs> and he never could find it. And at the end of the first act, as the lights are coming down, dimming down, this young character walked across the stage, dragging his butterfly net behind him. There was a butterfly following him home. And of course, everybody in the audience laughed as they saw that butterfly following him home. That's called irony. Butterfly following him home after he tried to find it during the whole first act. <laughs> now, many years since then, that young man grew up and indeed became an actor, and a dancer, and a singer, and he was in the theater for quite a long time in his life. Some of you, 
Some of you might know him. I think everybody in here has seen that butterfly boy be an actor. Oh, you think you know? Mr. Jack? Mr. Jack? <laughs> no, but that's a good guess. That's me. I was that young butterfly boy. And I survived all these years to tell you that story. So I have a little line somewhere that says the butterfly boy in that original play by William Saroyan. That was the world premiere. That was quite an honor. <laughs>